over because really. Hi, welcome to Fiber Love Diary. I'm Trish if we haven't met, and if we have met, welcome back to my Fiber Tribe. How are you? What's up? I hope things are okay where you live. I hope you're healthy. Things have shut down here again. But we just wanna do what we have to do to make this be over and hopefully keep as many people healthy as possible. We're just gonna to tough it out. Well, I mean, what else can you do? That's a Midwestern thing, right? It's like, all right, well, yeah, that's not good, but we're just gonna keep going. That's how we do in the Midwest, okay? I've actually felt like during this whole thing, like there's been a lot you could complain about, but there have been good things too. And when a lot is like taken away from you, you can think a lot about the good things that are left. So you kind of have to make your choice. Am I gonna focus on what sucks or am I gonna focus on what I still have that's great? Which one sounds better to you? choose your own adventure anyways so a couple weeks back I mentioned that I wanted to make Christmas socks for me and my husband John and he will pretty much wear whatever socks he is cool with different colors bright colors whatever he's got some bright awesome fun socks and then he's also got some like very manly brown gray that kind of stuff socks but he did consent to wearing Christmas socks <laughs> I had some ideas. I'm not gonna tell you right now because that will kind of ruin it. And I've used one of these techniques before and then you're gonna see a brand new one also because I'm gonna make them coordinating but not matching, if that makes sense. I hope you'll stick with me. I'm gonna use completely new techniques I've never used on my channel, not new to the world. Well, I guess they could be, I don't know. They come out of my head. Definitely new to me, one of them is. Stick around, you can see them at the end. I will have swatches. As always, I pre-soaked my Hank and the sock blank we're gonna be dyeing today in cold water and vinegar for at least a few hours. I'll be using a resist technique on this Hank and I will link a video below where I've used it once before. I thought it would be really cool to make it look like a Christmas tree with colored lights on it. So that's the plan. We'll see how it goes. There's actually a few things I would change and will be changing. In fact, as soon as I'm done editing today, I'm going to try this again with a little bit of a change to the technique and see if I can get a little closer to what I want. But I'm still pretty happy with the results. So I'm almost done with the light colors here and I'm going to touch this blue up and then I'm going to tie each of these colors in two places with some strong cotton worsted yarn. I have done this before and sometimes when I tie the whole hank in just one place the middle gets more pressure on it than the outside and it gets too long of a resist spot so I decided to split it this time. Now that I'm all tied up, I'm gonna over dye with three shades of green. I actually wish I had gone a little darker. I was afraid that I was using too much dye, but it was no problem at all. And next time I'll be using a little bit more.
So while that pan is on the stove, I went ahead and got ready for the blank. And if anybody has an idea of how I can do this without using plastic wrap, I would love to hear it. I haven't thought of a way yet, but I'm just going to lay some plastic wrap out and get my blank on it. And we're going to go to town on this thing. I know it's hard to see, but this is actually um, kind of in a, there we go, in a U shape. I wanted to try to make the two socks kind of match. I know they're never going to match perfectly, which is fine, but they're in a U shape and I'm just trying to balance them out right now and see if I can't get them to be pretty similar in like shape and how they're stretched out so that when I make two socks that are mirror image of each other, they'll look pretty close. So I had deliberately squeezed out every bit of the water that I possibly could before I laid this blank out because I didn't want there to be too much water on it and have it running all into the other colors. I'm going to go ahead now and cover up the blank with another sheet of plastic so I can roll it lengthwise and again if there's any running the hope is that it'll run like straight down instead of the green into the red and um, all different directions so wish me luck I am pretty happy with how this turned out I know it looks crazy but the thing about dyeing blanks is like the crazier the blank looks the cooler the socks look after I can't explain it it's voodoo it's magic it's Christmas magic or something but it is totally true This bowl is used only for dyeing. It went in the microwave and I did three minutes with a one minute break and then three more minutes on this and it was perfectly set. I think I'm ready to turn this off, but we're gonna check it. Ooh, it's hot. Okay, it's all steamed up, sorry. I'm gonna call this cleared. I am so excited to take off these ties. I can't wait, but I gotta let it cool. It's way too hot right now.
It's gonna be so cute. I'm not exactly sure how this is gonna look on camera, but I am super paranoid that if I slip the scissors underneath one of these, I will cut yarn that I can't really see. So what I do is I pull the yarn away from the knot and I literally just cut the knot in half of the yarn that is the resist yarn. And then I just kind of like pull it apart. So Merry Early Christmas. I have to do it early if I'm going to have them done. Thanks. I love you. Bye.